The Los Angeles Lakers are now undoubtedly the favorites to come out of the Western Conference Finals this coming season. After losing to the Phoenix Suns in the first round of the playoffs in a season where they were prime favorites to retain their NBA title, it appears they've shrugged off the dead weight and are well on course to win another NBA title this coming season. The Lakers sacrificed their youth prospects in search of a third star to which they acquired former MVP winner Russell Westbrook. They have also gathered a group of former All-Star veterans like Carmelo Anthony and Dwight Howard in combination with youth talents like Kendrick Nunn and Malik Monk, all for just $15 million. To round up their chase for veterans, the Lakers are reportedly looking to sign former Nugget Paul Millsap. Paul Millsap is one player no one has been talking about since he became a free agent. Paul Millsap has been in the NBA for 15 years now, but the former All-Star is a veteran who appears to be on the last legs of his career both physically and metaphorically. So even when there have been plenty of moves here and there, and plenty of veterans getting scooped up by teams to add that experience to their team, Millsap remains a free agent. Millsap made four straight All-Star games with the Hawks from 2013 to 2017, but it seems Millsap has become more of a squad player to close out his career. Despite the decrease in playing time, Millsap still posted 9 points, 4.7 rebounds, and 1.8 assists in 20.8 minutes per game with the Nuggets last season. We're totally aware that these stats are not exactly eye-popping, but if what the Lakers are looking for is someone who can play both front court spots and provide veteran leadership and experience, as well as a player who can knock down occasional three-pointers, then that's exactly what Millsap can provide. Even though Millsap dropped at 34% from the perimeter last season, let's not forget that this is the same player that converted 43% from threes two seasons ago. And who's to say he can't match the height again, especially in a team like that of the Lakers? The Nuggets decided against bringing back Millsap this offseason so that they could allow the big man to try to win a chip before the end of his career. And that sounds just about like the project LeBron has been running in the Lakers. Millsap is 36 years old, and at that age, there are questions about how much Millsap still has left in his tank. Millsap played just as well as you would expect a 36-year-old to perform last season. The former Utah Jazz player is not someone who is going to deliver 35 minutes every night in every game anymore, or start 86 games for his team. At 36, he's become an aging power forward who can hit a three-pointer, block a shot here and there, fight on the glass, and knows how to attack an offense as a defensive anchor. He's not as strong as he was in his prime, but he's still very much capable of showing up in important games and getting the job done. In 2015-16, he was named to the NBA All-Defensive Team and has been a four-time NBA All-Star. He previously was a valuable part of the Denver Nuggets, playing the role of the well-experienced veteran who was a mentor to many of their young players such as Jamal Murray, Michael Porter Jr., and Nikola Jokic. Another great thing about him is that he can start or come off the bench, making himself very flexible. Paul Millsap is a terrific role player that runs the floor and always seems to be helpful. After getting eliminated by the Phoenix Suns last season, the Lakers are desperate for that not to happen again. That's why they've been signing veterans to their roster to create a certain level of depth within the team in case the injuries that befell them last season were to repeat themselves. That way, they will still have quality players who can fill up holes when necessary and inspire the young ones when they are called on. This is something they missed last season and are trying to rectify. Above all, I believe the Lakers are signing these veterans because they are all in the final stages of their career. By presenting them their last chance to win themselves a ring, they will have a necessary hunger within the team, hoping that that hunger will push them far and ultimately win them the NBA title. These are the main reasons why acquiring the services of another hungry veteran like Millsap into the team makes a lot of sense. The Lakers are one of the few teams in the league who still have three open spots and there's been a lot of speculation and rumors about who they're targeting. A few weeks ago, they worked out Darren Collison, Mike James, and Isaiah Thomas. Jared Dudley's tenure with the Lakers, on the other hand, seems to be coming to a close as the Lakers are looking for players who can deliver when it matters, rather than just provide off-court leadership. Having Millsap on the Lakers team would solidify the depth of the Lakers roster, providing the bench with a player who has great defensive awareness to guard the perimeter as a big man, something that the team has lacked in prior seasons. In terms of fitting in, I don't think Millsap will have any problem fitting in a team that is made up of veterans. Millsap has always been a well-respected player among his fellow colleagues and fans across the league. He always plays with hustle and heart, and he has helped whatever team he was on even as he has gotten older. His stats might have dwindled a little with age, which is only natural but the big man can still contribute because he knows his role. He may not average as many points in a game as he once did, but he can also play defense, rebound, and he plays hard. Another thing is that Millsap is a very unselfish and smart player who knows how to pace himself and add what is lacking for a team. 
The Lakers have a roster that's loaded with many veterans of experience like Dwight Howard, Anthony Davis, Carmelo Anthony, and Russell Westbrook. So it wouldn't hurt to have a player like Millsap, who at this point in his career is definitely looking to win an NBA title. It would definitely benefit the Lakers to have another defensive player on the roster as we know how important defense has been to the Lakers and their head coach, Fred Vogel. Millsap has refused to say anything about the teams that he's been talking to, but we're sure that the Lakers are one of the teams he wants to play for. The Lakers are most likely going to sign him to a one-year deal at a minimum rate, and as long as they can agree on a salary, it's a move that wouldn't hurt both parties. Speaking about salaries, in the last four years, Millsap has earned nearly $100 million, so I don't see any reason why he would find it difficult to slide into a minimum spot while still bringing positive value on both sides of the floor. If Millsap is willing to take a pay cut, he would be a solid addition to the Lakers' front court. Despite his age, Millsap can still hit the long jumpers that Montrez Harrell doesn't. In fact, he had the most accurate season from the two-point range in his career last season. Millsap is still an expert positional defender, and after 15 years in the NBA, he's also playoff tested. Even though the Lakers have mainly focused on bringing in perimeter-type players, they've been looking to sign another big man ever since the offseason started. So going for Millsap obviously makes sense in this light. The only problem they're going to have with this deal would obviously be the financial aspect. The Lakers have spent quite a little bit of money during this offseason, so for them to sign Millsap, they will need to tie him down to a minimum contract. I believe that the potential for winning a ring in May will outweigh whatever money he will be getting, especially since he earned almost $100 million in the past three years. There are other teams that are linked to Millsap, such as the Warriors, the Suns, the Hawks, among others, and these teams have more financial flexibility compared to the Lakers. However, the Lakers have a more realistic chance of winning the title than these other teams. Fair enough, the Golden State Warriors still have a Stephen Curry who still provided an MVP-worthy performance last season, and with the return of Klay Thompson, they would be up there with the favorites to win the league, but I just don't see Klay Thompson coming in and instantly performing at the unworldly level we're used to. The Suns were great last season, but the Lakers are much stronger this season, so I don't see them beating the Lakers to the finals this season. So, if Millsap is really interested in winning his first ring, he has a better and more realistic chance of doing that with the Lakers than anyone else. Even though Millsap has never won a chip, he has the record of getting any team he's on to the playoffs. In his three seasons with the Utah Jazz, they got into the playoffs twice. We know the Lakers will obviously be looking to go past the playoff, but having a player like Millsap with the impact and presence on the court would greatly benefit their odds of getting deep into the playoffs. Comment below to let us know your thoughts and be sure to subscribe for more. And don't forget to turn on notifications so you never miss another one of our videos.